What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Wing Stop Poppy back at you guys today with another video. On today's video, we actually have a clothing haul today. This was all stuff I purchased from last month. And the good news is most of this stuff is on sale. And I think it still might be on sale. So if you guys are looking to pick up any of this stuff, um, I'll leave the links down in the description below. But before we get into the video, please hit that like and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram down below. See how I style these beautiful pieces. And by the way, if anyone's wondering why I keep wearing hats, it's because my hair is absolutely ridiculously long right now. <clears throat> I haven't got a haircut since January. Obviously, I can't get a haircut due to the shutdown. So we're gonna have to roll with the hats. And yeah, hopefully I can get a haircut soon, but who really knows at this point. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So we'll start here with the Supreme pickups. Now, like I said, I haven't really been buying much Supreme, but I did pick up some tees from, I believe, week seven. So these are for sale actually as well. I know I actually sold a shirt to someone who watched my last clothing video. So I figured I would show these uh, just in case anyone wants to purchase. So I have a Chrome logo tee right here in red. Now these will all be kept in the packaging by the way. So yeah. But yeah, if you want to buy these, just uh, hit my DM. DM me on Instagram or leave a comment and then I'll find you. Either way, just leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. But yeah, here we go. Supreme Chrome logo T in red. This is a size large, by the way. So if you want this, hit me up. We'll work something out. Next is the Supreme Dino T in gray. This is also a size large. I was thinking about keeping this one, but I mean, if someone wants it and the offer is right, I will sell it to you. So yeah, let me know if you want this. Like I said, Supreme Dino T size large, Heather gray. And then last but not least from Supreme, we have the Sale T in medium and navy so once again this is a medium the rest of the tees were large and yeah this one actually slaps i can see it through the packaging obviously it, this is navy by the way like i mentioned but i think the graphic really comes off these really nice i also like that dino tee a lot too i don't really care for the chrome logo tee when it comes to supreme i know it's weird that uh most people want to show off the supreme but for me i kind of like the low key pieces that doesn't say that doesn't scream supreme across the front but anyways that's it for supreme now let's just get into some more basic tees i picked up as well well i shouldn't say basic graphic basic tees a little mixed in but anyways <clears throat> first one is actually a tribute to my man kobe bryant as you guys know kobe passed away but i saw this on instagram from a kobe account that i follow kb824 and it's from a brand called camp bla and they were selling these t-shirts for Mamba Day, which was April 13th. And if you guys remember the Muppets uh, Nike commercials from back in the day with Kobe and LeBron, this is actually mimics that with the five rings and it spells out LA and it says Mamba Forever. So I figured I'd pick this up. It was $24. And this tee is actually super nice for $24. And yeah, I mean, I figured I got to pay a tribute to Kobe and $24, I can make that work. Next is a tee from Noah, New York. Now, actually, I picked these up in March. I just didn't show them off. <clears throat> but they actually had a sale. So these are their basic organic cotton tees. As you can see, just a basic baby blue tee. Great for the summer. And we got a small Noah branding down here, as you can see. So that's the only branding on this shirt. So like I said, small, minimal branding stuff that I like. Just, you know, a little slight flex on them but it's not really flex and people were asking me i know I, someone reached out to me on instagram about noah because they were curious and noah was basically founded by one of supreme's uh original designers back in the day forgot the guy's name so the way i describe noah is pretty much supreme for adults so if you're like <clears throat> if you like supreme but you want a more like adult aesthetic and want to look a little bit old <laughs> dress your age i i don't really like like dressing yeah i should rephrase this that i wear what you want but i'm just saying if you want like an older looking aesthetic something that's more like i would say like if you're in your 30s and you still want that supreme feel noah is the brand for you and i'm not in my 30s by the way i just like noah anyways glad we got that out of the way but moving on i am an ohio state buckeyes fan and i was hunting on ebay i was looking up some vintage cheese I really was looking at vintage Marlins tees to match my South Beach LeBrons. However, I stumbled across this dead stock Ohio State Buckeyes vintage t-shirt. Like I mentioned, dead stock. This was $25 from a seller on eBay called Legit Vintage. 
So I figured why not pick it up? It is my, this is my first vintage tee purchase. The one reason why I'm skeptical, skeptical about vintage t-shirts is that I'm really not sure about sizing. I did get an XL and the, what I mean by skeptical is that like back in the day, like t-shirt sizing has evolved over the years. So a t-shirt like that, XL, it pretty much fits like a large. So I think I'm just gonna go size up. And you also don't know with vintage if the original owner like shrunk the shirt in the dryer which would obviously make the shirt a lot smaller than what it is but luckily for me this was dead stock so it fits me perfectly so i'm very happy with it now moving on another sale item is from car hard work in progress this is just a university tee i really just wanted a universe uh, forest green t-shirt like i said once again only branding and once again car hard work in progress this is not regular carhartt <clears throat> The difference is, for those who don't know, is Carhartt work in progress. It uses the Carhartt brand, but it's like a more like streetwear fit. What I mean by that, it's more like fitted to the body, you know, like Carhartt workwear is more loose fitting. So this t-shirt, I actually got an XL. Now if you go Carhartt work in progress, it's still having a sale. The t-shirt was, I think $28, originally like 52 or some shit. But yeah, they're having a sale right now. I'll link them down below so you go check them out. I believe this one sold out, but if you're curious, um, feel free to check out the link below. And also they give you sizing. So their regular sizing, I would go half size up. But if it's loose fitting, I would just stay true to size. They, they tell you that on the website in the product description. So you really won't have to worry. Just read the product description and you should be good to go if you're curious about car hardware from progress. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now moving on, we have our shorts. Summer's around the corner. Obviously, we can't really go anywhere, but we can still take walks around the block. And what's better than wearing some cool ass shorts? So starting off in honor of the last dance, I had to pick up these Mitchell and Ness Swingman 9798 Bull shorts right here. Sorry, they, yeah, there we go. Bang bang. As you can see, this will, this pairs with the 9798 alternate black jersey. You got the Bulls logo stitched in right here. Now, for those who don't know, Mitchell and Ness makes two versions. They make an authentic and they make a swingman. Obviously, authentic mimics what the Bulls wore on the court, and it is a little higher in price. But the reason I go with the swingman is strictly because of the pockets. I know with the authentics, you can get them custom and get them made with pockets. But I don't want to go through all that, especially right now. I don't really want to be going out and doing any extra activities that I don't really have to do. So I figured get the swing mans with the pockets. Plus these were $80 compared to the authentics, which are $125. So a pretty much like a for $30, $40 price difference in between there. So yeah, now moving on to my favorite pair of shorts <clears throat> that I've been wearing forever. And I had to pick up this purple colorway because it was on sale. It's a Panic Patagona baggies in this purple colorway. Now I get the five inch baggies, as you can see the Patagona branding down there. And they also have seven inch baggies. I do have some seven inch baggies in my closet as well. And I could attest to this that these shorts last forever. My first pair I bought 2018 <clears throat> on summer vacation in Wyoming. Bought them at an outdoor store. I figured. I bought them because I needed something lightweight and like something that would like, you know, be water resistant. They're pretty much swim trunks, but they're shorts, which I love about them. So if you want to go jump in the river or whatever you want to do during the summer wearing these, you'll be good to go. But yeah, they last forever. They are $55. I did find these for $38. So when I saw this purple colorway, which I've been looking for, I had to pull the trigger. But I think if you're looking, I don't know if they're on sale anywhere anymore. But if you are looking for them, $55, can't go wrong. It's a great deal. And last but not least, these were actually also on sale and they still are on sale. I will link them in the bio below. And these are some Nike mid-thigh, just standard polyester shorts or whatever this material is called. Feels like a windbreaker material. Let me see. <laughs> whatever, they're Nike sportswear shorts and they're dope. Um, as you can see, white drawstrings on our Nike branding down here. And these were originally $45. And actually, wait, it's nylon material. Sorry, geez, I'm all over the place. Nylon material shorts, Nike branding. And these were originally $45. And I actually got these for $33 from Academy Sports. 
Now I know Academy Sports from when I used to live in the South. So I know they're reliable. But anyways, if you're looking for these, I will link them down below. They are on sale right now for 33, originally 45, and they were like free shipping as well. So they came out to be $35. Can't really go wrong. They seem like they're pretty good material. And yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for my summer, or I guess clothing haul pickup video. Um, like I said, if you guys want to check any of this stuff out, I will leave links down below. I'm not getting paid to leave links, obviously, but I want to help you guys out. So feel free to check out the links. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.